everyone, it's Irene, and I have a little tutorial I'd like to share with you today. The tutorial is on how I've been at, um, make this particular item to hold extra stick pins on top, and then I put the stick pins all the way here, and I, I've been making them in different sizes and shapes, and this particular one goes inside this altered placemat that I made into a little stick pin pouch, and a special friend will be getting this shortly, but it just goes in there like that, and I put a closure on it and it's just a pretty way to keep on your desk and hold all your stick pins but I've been asked by quite a few um, to show how I made this right here and I'm going to back to show you the materials I use for this particular project um, I get these foam board pieces this comes from Elmer's and it comes in a four pack I just like it because it's not big and bulky but you can also get it at um, all kinds of office supply. You can also get it from Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree version is very flimsy. I like something that can hold up because you're going to be using it quite a few times, hopefully, and it just withhold, withstands all the, you know, the wear and tear and the bending, so, and it holds through shipping very well. But what I do is I cut these into different size shapes, and I usually use a knife that looks like this because it's super sharp. You want something that's going to clean, cut in a clean line. Because if it's crooked, then the project comes out crooked. And I find it's best to use something really super sharp. So if you have something like that, that'd be great. And now what I do is I get a piece of felt. And after I find what size I'm going to use, I just cut it accordingly. And I just glue it. And I don't do the sides to the edge. I leave some room on the edges. And I just cover it up really well. And then once I glue it all together, then I trim off just enough to make it where there's a little space there. So you can just glue it nice and shut, and then you can trim it out with your pretty lace here. But that's how I would do that. And then I continue on. I'm taking another piece of, after this is covered, I take another piece of felt. And the way I make a cover, if it was the right size, is I make a lip for it. And I'll just hot glue this to the bottom, like that. Hot glue, hot glue. And then put in my closure however I want the closure. And then after it's all hot glued, then I put on my lace and cover all my seams and edges and uh, make it super pretty. So this doesn't get a lip cover like this because this particular item is going in here. And I just sent off my other little project off, but that's how I do that. I use several pieces of felt. I like using pink. I use cream. I use white. Um, but just really easy to do. And um, just cover it up. And see if you do a small piece, you can do it all in one. So you just cover it up. And you just trim it out. Glue, glue, glue. Add your lace and trim and just start playing. And when it's all covered up like that, this is where all that can happen because that's where the foam is. And it takes on a stick pin really easy. See, it just goes in super easy. Yep. And uh, it goes through the felt quite easy, and that's why I use felt. And then I also make this in a matchbook size where you just need to use three. You just cut this to size, so it's really fun to put this all together. And, um, yeah, they're really fun to make, and a really pretty keeper of these stick pins. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. But I hope this was helpful to all the ones that were wondering how I made those. And um, show me what you guys have made. Love to see what you guys come up with. But this was a lot of fun. Thanks for stopping by and viewing this tutorial. Hope everyone's having a great day. Bye-bye.